Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another live stream here from our beautiful Beta Shop studio in Beta Palo Alto. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's live stream. If you guys happen to be in the Palo Alto area, come on down here to Beta PA. We're hanging out here in the studio, but we've got our beta testers out on the floor ready to answer all of your questions about the innovative products that we have here at Beta. We've got everything from tech to lifestyle. There's a product here for everybody and we're all about discovery here at beta so we want you to come on down here uh let us discover things with you we've like i said we've got our beta testers here and they are ready to show you some really really cool stuff and guys i'm ready to show you uh one of the coolest scooters out on the market right now that we are so excited here at beta that we have in our inventory guys it's this scooter right here. Um, this is the Okai Beetle electric scooter. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about the history of innovation here um, and, and kind of how the, the Beetle came to be. Um, Okai has spent you know, multiple years researching and developing this product in particular. We're gonna talk a little bit about Okai and sort of what their mission statement is. But I wanna start with just to scooters in general, because I was doing a little bit of research, and actually the first scooter was invented back in 1913 and was patented a few years later. It was a wooden scooter, if you guys can just close your eyes, envision that. Now, this obviously, you know, the scooters come a long, long way, but it wasn't really until the early 2000s that the idea of micro mobility took off. And actually, a few years prior to that in 1996 was when the scooter, the electric scooter was officially invented. So then we move into the early 2000s and micro mobility becomes a huge thing. Um, and that's because there was sort of this issue called the last mile problem. And a lot of people, especially commuters, people going to and from work, um, you know, needed something to help them uh, get there. They, they lived at a distance that uh, was, was not too far away, but also was just far away enough that they didn't want to hop in the car and drive to their place of work. Um, so that's where micromobility really came into play. And so what Okai has done is they've really thought about kind of the modern day commuter, anyone uh, that is, you know, using any sort of transit to go to and from uh, their place of business or maybe even just, you know, a friend's house on the weekend. Maybe you live somewhere, um, you know, in an area where um, you could get on, hop on an electric scooter and it would be so much more convenient than uh, getting in a car or walking. Walking takes a long, long time. So Okai has not only uh, really catered to the consumer in that way, but they've also thought about how to uh, make the planet a, a better world for all of us to live in. They are so eco-conscious. And so this scooter, the Okai Beetle, um, is all about having a, you know, zero impact on the environment. So that's what they've created here for us. Guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the product specifically, but let's talk more about Okai as a company. So Okai is a company based in China. And like I said, they are obsessed with micro mobility. They spent two years really, really, really honing in on the design and the development of this particular scooter. And guys, just like, let's take a second to marvel at how amazing the design is here. I don't know if you're like me, but I mean, I've never seen an electric scooter with a seat. This is what sets this scooter apart. There's a seat here built in. So you're meant to sit down when you ride it. And actually, let me show you guys how I ride the Okai Beetle. So here we go. I just sit like this, so comfortable. This seat is so comfortable. And look at how wide this foot platform is too. Um, it fits both of my feet. I sit super comfortably here on the scooter. It's unlike any other uh, electric scooter out there that you guys have probably tried. Now, Okai really saw a huge uh, opportunity to really help anyone you know, that's riding electric scooters, um, not only, you know, be comfortable, but also reduce the risks that come with riding a scooter, um, both, you know, safety risks and also just personal, uh, personal risks. Uh, a lot of people experience very severe 
back pain, neck pain, abdomen pain from riding uh, traditional electric scooters because you're standing like this, you're having to really kind of, you know, stabilize yourself. Typically, the platforms are, you know, half the size of the platform here that we have on the Okai Beetle. And so what that does is it actually creates a lot of strain on the body. And Okai said, you know what? This doesn't work for us. It doesn't work for people that are on electric scooters. And so we're gonna do things differently when we come out with our model. We want the consumer to be comfortable, safe, um, and also get off the ride and feel just as good as they did when they first hopped on. And that's exactly what they've brought to us here with the Okai Beetle. You get to sit on a com such a comfortable seat. I don't know if you guys can see, look at me pressing down on this seat. It's so cushy and comfy. Not only that, but underneath the seat, we have a shock absorbing springs. So when you're bumping along, if you get on a bumpier road, that's no problem because the Okai, the seat is actually absorbing all of that shock. Not only that, but you guys, these are 10 inch pneumatic tires down here. These things can handle abrasions. They can handle any sort of bumpy uh, terrain, any sort of unpaved roads. So if you happen to, you know, get a little bump, the, the wheels themselves are also going to absorb any kind of shock that you might encounter um, on, your, on your way to your favorite destinations. And so it makes it even more comfortable. And again, that was something that Okai really wanted to address in the development of their product because Guys, up until this point, I mean, scooters, like I said, the first one developed back in 1913, and then it got a revamp in 1996 uh, with an electric motor. But other than that, there's not been too much thought put into, you know, really comfort. And so Okai has said, we're gonna do it different, we're gonna make it comfortable, and that's exactly what they've delivered here. Not only that, you guys, uh, this scooter retails for $699. $699 blows my mind to think uh, that you can get all of this, all this comfort, um, all the safety, all the speed for that price point. It's so affordable, the highest quality too. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the, the, the speed at which you can go in just a second. Um, but really, the, the, seat, the seat here is so, uh, what makes it so innovative, not only that, but we have a, an NFC key and there are multiple ways to actually lock and unlock your Okai Beetle scooter. So here's the key, I have it with me, and actually this scooter has been charged up. So I mentioned three ways. The first way is actually to just take the key. This is actually like a key fob, essentially, and when you put it onto the Beetle, it will wake the beetle up. Let me go ahead and unplug it. Okay, so it'll actually wake up the scooter. You guys could hear that sound, right? Great, we have that overhead view. Let me show you again how you would go ahead and lock it. Just like that, just with the simple touch of the key to this LED digital screen right here. And guys, this screen has everything that you need um, to know during your ride, it's your speedometer. It also shows you the battery life and tells you what driving mode you're in. So that's another super innovative, uh, you know, feature here on the scooter is there are three different riding modes. How cool is that? So you get to kind of choose, you know, do you want a little more speed? Do you want to save your battery life? Kind of, you get to make the call as the driver of your Okai Beetle. Here's the second way to unlock the Beetle. The key does have uh, these buttons. It has a lock and an unlock button, so you could just do it manually with just a simple click of the button. And let me do it again to unlock. So easy, so that's the second way. You guys, the third way, so, so cool. You can actually download the Okai Beetle app and unlock the Beetle from your phone. So if you're someone like me, I love a good app integration. If there's a product out there with an app, I have to have it. And so the fact that the Okai has the app that you can download and you can control it from your phone is so convenient. I have my phone on me at all times. A lot of the times it's so much easier for me to reach for my phone than it is for me to reach for a key. Um, so I love that not only I, do I have the key, this NFC key, but I also have uh, the app. And so I can unlock the Beetle with the app. 
Guys, the key also, you can see, it is an actual key as well. And you're probably wondering, well, where does, where does the key go? How does it, what does it unlock? Well, it unlocks this foot platform down here. This is another thing that really sets the Okai beetle apart. <laughs> really sets the Okai beetle apart. You can actually unlock the foot platform and there's the battery inside of the platform. So let me go ahead, if we get that top-down view again. You guys, take a look here. So here is the battery sitting in here, and you can see it's plugged in. It is charging at the moment. But guys, I could actually unplug this and take out the battery. And you know what? I might as well do it so you guys can see how this works. So check this out. I'm gonna take out the battery. We'll put the floor, this back on. And it's so easy to do this. Just take it out. Guys, check out this battery. Okay, so this is a battery that you can remove and you can actually charge this battery on its own. A lot of other scooters don't have this option where you can actually take out the battery. The battery um, is a little bit heavy. Um, it does sort of, uh, you know, it puts some weight, it adds some weight, I would say, to the scooter, but the fact that you can take this out and charge it makes the scooter so lightweight, you can move it around your house wherever you wanna charge it, if you wanna charge the battery separately, or guys, if you wanna charge the scooter, you can absolutely charge the scooter right here, check this out. Just plug it in. But you can move it around, and it's so stable, it's so easy to move around. Um, there's a kickstand here on the other side, so wherever you have an outlet in your home, in your garage, or maybe you're, you know, you're out and, and you're, you need an outlet and you find one, you can easily move the Okai to that outlet, get it charged up. Now through Okai, you guys can also purchase these spare batteries. You can purchase more than one, so you can have uh, multiple batteries on hand that are all charged up and ready for you guys to take out whenever you are ready for your next ride. So there's no waiting time. There's no downtime here. And that's something too that's, that Okai has really thought about. They've thought about, you know, what is gonna be most convenient for the consumer? We have such busy lives. I don't know about you guys, but I am constantly, constantly on the move. I myself, is a, I, I'm a commuter, so it's so convenient for me to be able to have my Okai Beetle, uh, my, my charged up batteries at the ready all the time so that I can just whip off to my next destination so convenient. Again, they've thought about everything here when it comes to the consumer and our needs. This really is an electric scooter for the people, for us, for everybody that um, needs, you know, needs an, a little more convenience in their life, um, needs to kind of simplify too. Guys, this scooter goes up to uh, 15 miles per hour. Yeah, 15 miles per hour. And it also has a 25 mile distance range. So there's so many places that we can go on our Okai Beetles, and they're so much fun to ride to. Okai really has, I think in its design, has put fun back into riding electric scooters. Not only that, but for me, it's really nice to know that I'm also gonna be safe on the scooter as well. That just enhances the experience, you know, 10 times over. So love that, love that it's easy to lock and unlock. Guys, also, this handlebar is antibacterial. This has an antibacterial material here on the, the handlebar. And of course, that is so important, especially as you know we're going throughout our day, we're touching different things. Um, you know, I don't always have a, a full you know, bottle of hand sanitizer on me, so it's really, really nice to know that when I touch the handlebars here, any of the germs, any of the bacteria that's on my hands is not going to be transferred onto these handlebars. Not only that, but these are so comfortable. They've got this nice sort of uh, rubber grip on them. So not only are they clean and sanitary, but they're also really comfortable and give you a nice stable ride.
Guys, if you're just joining us here, I wanna say welcome to this live stream. I'm your host, Noel, and we are talking all about the Oak High Beetle today and the history of innovation when it comes to electric scooters. Guys, I am coming to you live from Beta Palo Alto, um, and we're here just hanging out today. We are live, and I'm so glad that you found your way to uh, this live stream. Now, if you guys have never been into a Beta store, please do yourselves a favor, come on down here. We have so many awesome products for you to check out one of them being the Oak High Beetle. And you guys, if you're interested in actually riding the Beetle before you buy the Beetle, we would love to take you out for a spin. Just come on down here to Beta Palo Alto or head into your local Beta store wherever you happen to be tuning in from. Find out where your local beta store is, head on in. You guys, it takes, it, it's so easy to um, to sign up here to take a ride on the Oak High Beetle so that you can see just how smooth, how comfortable um, of a ride it really is. Like, don't just take my word for it. Bring yourselves down here, bring your friends, bring your family, everybody can come. It can be a whole, a whole event down here at Beta Palo Alto. And of course, our awesome beta testers are waiting to answer your questions. Um, and they'll definitely, they'll put you on here. It'll be all nice and safe. We've got helmets. You guys can take a spin down here in Beta Palo Alto um, and see for yourself just how amazing the Oak High Beetle is. So again, if you're just joining us, my name's Noelle. We're talking about the Okai, the Beetle. So Okai is the company behind the Beetle. This is their electric scooter. And guys, they are obsessed with micro mobility and really reshaping the way that we think about transit. Now, I don't know about you, um, but there's a lot of times where I have to be somewhere and I have to make the decision. Do I walk? Do I take a car? Do I, you know, um, do I, do I get on some kind of a, a, a scooter? Um, it's so hard for me sometimes to decide um, because oftentimes I find myself, you know, living just far enough away from a, a certain place that nothing really feels convenient to me. Walking doesn't feel convenient to me. Driving doesn't feel convenient to me. And, and especially with driving, you know, I, I think a lot about sort of the, uh, the environmental impact that that, that that has. And I think we have to be a lot more aware of, of that impact. And Okai definitely is exercising its awareness. Um, and they're creating products, uh, micromobility uh, forms of transit that really are so eco-friendly. So if you're someone like me who's trying to do their part in making our planet a happier, healthier place, the Okai Beetle is perfect for you. Not only because of uh, you know how, how eco-friendly it is, but there are so many amazing features here on this scooter um, that I wanna touch on again so that you guys um, really get kind of the full picture of sort of what Okai has rolled out here. They took two years to design and develop this scooter and it really shows all of that hard work, all of that research has fully paid off because this ride is unlike any other ride on an electric scooter that you have ever had. And I'm serious about that, you guys. I am so, so serious. Um, I can guarantee that you've never experienced anything like the Okai Beetle before. I know I, I definitely hadn't. And, and I wanna say really the, the reason why, one of the biggest reasons why is because of this, this beautiful seat right here, guys, you actually sit down on the scooter. And let me show you just how uh, fun it is to sit on this scooter and how comfortable it is. So I have the kickstand up right here, but look at how stable I am on the scooter. It holds me up. Um, I like that I have kind of this nice posture too. The seat, the surface area of the seat is so much wider than your average seat. So it's nice and comfortable. I don't get any of that like sort of soreness um, after you know you ride like a bicycle. Um, which is really nice. Now, other scooters, uh, you're gonna be standing on, uh, on them. And what Okai has done here is, is not only have they seated you, but they've actually widened this foot platform. So both of my feet, I've got room to spare here, guys, on both sides. If you guys can see, um, if we get a top-down view, you can probably see how much extra space is right here next to my feet. Isn't that amazing? So there's lots and lots of room here. It's really comfortable. I feel very, um, very balanced, very, very well situated, very, very secure. And that's really uh, one of the, one of the biggest benefits of owning an Okai Beetle and riding an Okai Beetle is it's going to be good to your body, actually. 
So many people experience back pain, neck pain, abdominal pain, because they ride traditional scooters. And the scooters themselves um, can be, you know, kind of hard to control. You're standing on them, so that's, you know, you're, you're in a standing position. And the, the foot platforms are about half the size, you guys, of, of the Oak High Beetles platform. So it's a very sort of, you know, you gotta keep everything really tight. You have to make sure um, that you're really well balanced on that scooter, because if you're not, then you run the risk of tipping over, falling off. It can be really dangerous. So what Oak Okai has done is they've taken some of that risk factor out and they've also allowed you to be way more comfortable um, and really kind of mitigate all of that sort of that pain, that post ride pain that you can experience on a traditional scooter. Guys, I want to point out a few other things uh, specifically about this seat. So this seat actually has uh, springs underneath it that are shock absorbing. So you're going to be even more comfortable. Again, they've thought of everything. The innovation here is unparalleled. The handlebar here is has an antimicrobial uh, material. It's made of an antimicrobial material. We've got the throttle here, um, and it and it's really, really, uh, really comfortable to grip. I love that it's antimicrobial because you know I try to keep my hands nice and clean. I try to wash them everywhere that I go. But you know, there's some times where you can't wash them, or maybe you run out of hand sanitizer. Oh, the worst. But because the uh, the handlebars here are antimicrobial, you're not going to transfer any of that bacteria onto the handlebars. Ugh, guys, I can't tell you how much I love that feature. Again, I know it's like something that's so small, but they've really thought of everything here. Like seriously, from from, from the seat to the foot platform, to the handlebars themselves, the materials. Also check this out, you guys. This is the internal battery that sits inside the Okai underneath this foot platform. This can be taken out. It can be actually fully removed. Like you can see it here. I took it out earlier and I can charge this up individually. So I'm not having to charge it uh, while it's in the scooter. Cause you know, it can be a, you know, a little, it can add a little extra weight, which can be hard to kind of maneuver the scooter when you're trying to, when you've had have it shut off and you're trying to push it, you know, closer to an outlet, you can actually take this out move this on its own to wherever you want to charge it. Maybe you have a, a little charging station set up in your garage, in your basement, wherever you are. You can charge this individually. Okai does also offer you the option of purchasing uh, more batteries so that you can have one freshly charged anytime that you're ready for your ride. But I really do appreciate that they've thought about the charging experience because again, not a lot of batteries, uh, excuse me, not a lot of uh, scooters uh, have that option of being able to either charge the scooter or charge the battery separately. So guys, another huge perk here and another really thoughtful insight um, by Okai. I also want to point out that we've got an NFC key here. This is another huge piece of the innovation. Um, now, you know, a lot of scooters don't have, uh, electric scooters um, have keys like this at all. I mean, this is a key that you can simply touch to the LED screen here on the front of the scooter. And check this out, guys, just with a simple touch. Hmm? Oh, the battery's out. That's. What the battery is out. That's why it's not uh, it's not going. But guys, with just a simple touch, you can actually turn on and off, or excuse me, unlock and lock the Okai Beetle. You can also press the uh, the buttons here to manually lock and unlock them. When the battery is in, I took the battery out earlier to show you guys how you could remove it. But when the battery's in and when it's charged up and it's on, it's so so easy to just touch this directly to that LED screen. You can unlock and lock your Beetle that way. You can also, like I said, press the buttons or Bonus, there's a third way to unlock and lock your Okai Beetle, and that is with your phone on the on the app. Now, I'm a sucker for products that have an app. I love the convenience of controlling my tech gadgets from my phone, and Okai has really answered the call here from the consumers. Guys, we I, I know you're like me. I love, I love, love, love controlling things from my phone, and so they've really delivered here with that uh, feature. 
So we've got three different ways to unlock the beetle. We also have two different ways to charge it up. We've got the antimicrobial handlebars, the seat here, so comfortable, the wide foot platform. So you guys can see there's just been so many ways that Okai has updated uh, the electric scooter to really bring it into the digital age that we're all living in. Now, the original scooter uh, was actually uh, invented back in 1913. So it's been a long time coming that we get uh, a, an electric scooter like the Okai Beetle. Back in 1996, the electric scooter came out. And again, electric scooters are great. I mean, they're phenomenal ways to get around and they really do um, sort of address the need for uh, micro mobility uh, forms of transit. But really what Okai has done here is they've taken, uh, they've taken that need, they've, they've elevated the electric scooter experience with their Okai Beetle. And, and mainly with the seat here, with the wide foot platform, with the ability to unlock the scooter three different ways. Guys, we also get up to 15 miles per hour of speed on here. We have three different riding modes. This is unlike any other electric scooter that's out there right now. Seriously, and again, don't take my word for it. Come on down here to Beta Palo Alto or head into your local Beta store so that you guys can experience the Okai Beetle ride for yourself. Truly, it's such a smooth ride. Um, it also does feel, it does feel fast. You know, you're going, you're going at a great speed of 15 miles an hour. You can go up to 25 miles, uh, you know, with, with, on a single charge here. Um, so it's a really fun ride, but there's also a huge safety factor here. And guys, if you come on in here, we've got helmets. You can sign up to take a ride down here on University Avenue in Palo Alto or wherever your local beta store is. You will not wanna miss out on the opportunity to try out the Okai Beetle. And I guarantee once you've ridden it once, you'll be sold. It's such a fun ride. It's such a smooth ride, a safe ride. And again, the price point, guys, you can't beat it. $699 for the Okai Beetle. Again, I, I, I gotta tell you as a commuter, I absolutely love having the Okai at my disposal. Not only can I charge up the scooter itself, but I can have backup charged batteries on hand at all times. Thanks to Okai offering those um, that you can purchase through their website. Guys, click that buy now button. Um, if I've sold you on this, you can buy it right now. Seriously, click that buy now button. You can purchase it uh, for yourself. I believe we've got a couple other color options available as well, um, but I absolutely love it. And again, if you, need, if you need a little more convincing, come on down here to Beta Palo Alto to check it out in person take it for a spin. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. I enjoyed researching more, not only about the Okai Beetle, but the history of the innovation of the electric scooter itself. Guys, I'm going to sign off for now, but I'll see you next time for another live stream here from Beta. Bye.